Hi everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. So today I'll take you through how I painted the Raptors Space Marine chapter symbol. And as you can see, I'll be doing it freehand today. So as always, the important thing when, well, a few important things when painting chapter symbols freehand is to just have a reference in front of you. Even if you just draw a sketch out and have it next to you, or if you have a computer in front of you, just to have an image of it up on the screen, as it's really, really helpful to have a reference. Um, I, for example, went whilst painting this, had a reference in front of me just on my computer. And another thing, I always recommend freehand painting chapter symbols. Now, you may not get it perfect the first time. I certainly didn't with many of mine. It's, uh, it's definitely a challenge, depending on the chapter symbol, it, symbol itself. But it's certainly a great way to get better and better at painting. And another important point is to, um, I mean, it's generally the case with uh, mostly everything that you'll be painting, but just make sure that you've got the paint fairly well watered down as well as any mistakes. Uh, as you'll see, I do make a couple during this that I want to go back and correct. Uh, you just don't want to have any noticeable sort of thick lines of paint. Um, so uh, it will require you, of course, especially if you're working over a darker color. Um, this sort of olive green isn't too dark. However, uh, white going right over it um, will require a couple of coats. So of course, if you're going back and forth and correcting, um, you just want to make sure that that paint's pretty thin. So the first thing is just going to be getting a nice outline of the Raptors symbol. And then of course, working in some of those finer details uh, as we progress. And as you can see, where necessary, I flip the miniature upside down, just as it's a lot easier to get some of these, uh, the lower part of the uh, chapter symbol details done by doing so. So yeah, really important that whatever it is that you're working on, uh, you just have it in the best possible position uh, to get the results that you want to.
You'll find as well, um, of course, if you're freehanding all of your chapters, your chosen chapters, um, chapter symbols, uh, you'll find as well that over time uh, you'll become a lot faster at painting these. And it will naturally just become a lot easier as well. And uh, it's certainly a challenge that I've set myself with this Space Marines Army project that I've been working on. Um, as obviously I've been doing a multitude of different chapters, but, um, so when I first started out, it was, uh, it was certainly a struggle and I didn't make it easy on myself by choosing some pretty tough, uh, chapter symbols. Um, Angels of Redemption was one example. That was a really, really difficult chapter symbol to get, uh, particularly with the black wings, um, surrounding the skull, um, over a pretty light, uh, sort of background as well. So correcting it was, um, was pretty difficult but again a really really good challenge and definitely uh, something worth practicing And as you can see now, just with the castellan green, I'm just correcting some of the white and just making the edges around the design sharper. Really take your time with this part as um, it's sort of something you'd want to just go over one time.
And now just placing the eye on the chapter symbol. So as you can see, just having my brush in a downward angle and certainly not a lot of paint on the brush at all and just getting a little bit more off there on my hand. Uh, it's a neat little habit to get into actually, just, you know, instead of going all the way back to your palette, just sort of getting rid of some of that paint on your hand is absolutely fine. So the initial important part of this is just to get the line of the eye down first and then you can start reshaping it. And don't stress if you don't get it spot on perfect, uh, initially as well. Uh, you can always just go back and correct it with some white. And as you can see as well, uh, it does take a little while when freehanding, uh, freehand painting chapter symbols. But I certainly think that the result is worth it. And again, once you've been doing this for a while, uh, you'll find yourself naturally becoming faster and faster. And one thing I didn't mention at the start of the video as well, uh, when it comes to a brush for this, you really want to make sure that you have a fine, a really nice fine detail brush for this. So it's very well worthwhile investing in a good brush. So I like to use my Raphael 8404 size one for details such as this or a size zero, just depending. Um, as you can see, it holds a really, really good point. So always worth having at least one or two of these brushes on hand. And if you look after them, um, of course, using um, brush cleaner, I use, uh, I believe it's called the Master's Brush Cleaner. Uh, it's really affordable. You just use it with some water and uh, that'll keep your brushes going for quite some time.
And here is a photo of the completed miniature alongside the chapter symbol. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon.